how to know you are on the right track. A life without a perse- purpose is a languid, drifting thing. Every day we ought to renew our purpose, saying to ourselves, This day let us make a sound beginning, for what we have hitherto to done is enough. Okay, so I am not the best at navigating through new territory, and yeah, I am a guy, and there is just something about guys asking directions we don't. But anyway, as a guy, it's always nice to see signs that tell me I am headed in the right direction. Some goes with being a new creator in Christ. How can we know we are on the right track? God has graciously given us some born again signposts. The Apostle John has a special relationship with Christ. He wrote one of the Gospels and then he wrote three encouraging letters to early believers who were navigating through new territory as Christians. The first letter is signpost, telling they are on the right track. As for you, see that what you have heard from the beginning remains in you. If it does, you also will remain in the Son and in the Father. And this is what He promised us eternal life. If you know that He is righteous, you know that everyone who does what is right has been born full of him 1 john 2 part 24 25 29 according to john one of the ways that you can tell if you are born again is that you are living right does that means perfect no it means that you have a perfect spirit and if you choose to be led by the spirit of jesus in your spirit the rest of your life will be catching up to that fancy word for that is sanctification yes you still live in a fallen world and there will be days when you make poor choices and walk in the flesh rather than in the spirit but if you are born again and you are trusting christ to live his life through you his righteousness and characterize your life that kind of living right becomes your heartbeat and with the, it comes a humble assurance that yes you have been born again and someone is at work in you and through, through you to God's good pleasure. Holy Spirit, today I lay aside my impulse to think and act on my own. I want to walk in your spirit. Live through me in a way that confirms I am on the right track. A little outward evidence that you are in me. Amen. Are you lost? Question. Who does it take millions of spams to fertilize one egg? answer they won't stop to ask for directions okay so that's pretty funny maybe a tinge of color but you have to admit funny this enduring joke gets a chunkle because it feeds off the cultural belief that male members of our species really don't like to admit when they are physically lost but to the gender males and females of our species don't like to admit when they are spiritually lost so god used john to put up some born again signposts along the road to help us know when we are on the right track and when we are on the wrong path 1 john 3 Part 7 to 9 is one of the two signs, but be warned, this one is more like a billboard with blazing neon lights shouting out a desperate warning. 
dear children, do not let anyone lead you astray. The one who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. The one who does what is sinful is of the devil, because the devil has been singing from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. No one who is born of God will continue to sin because God's seed remains in them. They cannot go on sinning because they have been born of God. The verb tenses is this passage are important. It doesn't mean that we won't sin from time to time when we choose to walk in the fleshly independence rather than in dependence on the spirit. The warning is this, if you continue and go on sinning without remorse, without repentance and without a willingness to surrender this area of life over the Christ, then you may not be born again at all. I cannot sugarcoat this one. That's what the sign says. If you aren't sure which way you are going, you might want to stop and ask for some directions. Holy Spirit, speak clearly to me through this passage of the world. I am depending on you to do this. I don't want any false assurance that I am born again if I am not. I don't need unnecessary guilt over sins that are already covered by the cross. Show me, Lord, are my sins re resulting from choices to walk in the flesh, or are they a warning that I am continuing in sin because I am not born again at all? Amen. Join the unburdened over. I sometimes just say, Lord Jesus, lovely Lord Jesus, over and over slowly. There is nothing better or more healing. Their heart not fail one word of all his good promises. All the promises of God are yea and amen. And that's enough right there to go on. Life on this planet can be tough. Jesus never promised otherwise. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. John recorded that in his gospel, but he doesn't leave it there. In his first letter, John puts it in perspective for those who are born again. In fact, this is love for God to keep his commandments and his commandments are not burdensome. For everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world? Only the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. The core commandments to love, to trust, to live in Him, and to rest in Him, those, these give us a victory over the world that is so obvious that John says it. It is one of the signs that we are born of God. Personally, I know of no one whose life spoke as loudly to this truth as me. Only remember when your life was complete mess, rav ravaged by brokenness. Now, some years later, you've gone home to be with your Savior. Yes, listen to some, uh, some of the words you wrote in one of your last letters to us. It's all about him. I take care of his business. He takes care of my business. Lord, it's your body. If this is what you want for it, be my guest. Every word that comes out of the mouth of God matters. 
is alive and real in me mercifully he and I are inseparable that characteristic of overcoming the world is one of the signs that we have been born again Jesus be the only true reality in my life I release my worldly burdens to you I take on your commands which are not burdensome at all when I allow you to leave them through me in your strength. Amen.